I'm 22 years old, but my height is 3 feet 10 inches and my weight is around 50 pounds. I live life trapped in the body of an eight-year-old. When I was six months old, my mom noticed a bump in the back of my head. So she took me to the doctor and the doctor said it was a tumor, a very aggressive, cancerous tumor. I went into immediate surgery and after the surgery, I went through chemo for two to three years and I was deemed cancer free. I was around five and it was kindergarten. They noticed that every kid was significantly taller than me. There's at least a foot difference between me and these other kids. That's when they took me back to Children's Hospital and learned that my um, pituitary gland was very close to dormant. So all of my hormones, my growth hormone, my sweat glands, all of that produces much slower. I got on growth hormones, but unfortunately, the doctor told me I was done growing. My bones refused at 16. So I didn't have this realization that I wasn't gonna be normal until I was 16. That moment was almost like the world shattered. Come on. I want to live my life like my friends and my sisters do, but I need my mother, my father, and the rest of the world to realize that I'm an adult. My life is complex. In a way, the advantages to my situation are you get lollipops at hair salons, you don't get stopped by people on the street asking you for stuff, um, you can play dumb when you need to, so that always works, and then when you talk really smart, people are really surprised and think you're a baby genius until they realize that you're 22, or they just don't believe you, but that's besides the point. Physically is where all the bad parts are, though. I can't drive, I can't sit down on a seat with my feet touching the ground. Um, I can't reach counters, I have to use stools. Um, I have to hop on couches and beds and stuff. Shut up! I have to put my heels on! I think that medically my situation is rare. I know that my dwarfism is rare because it's medically caused, um, I know that my personality is rare. <laughs> Good job, Tank. Thank you. I live on Long Island with my mother, Patty, my stepfather, Mark, and my younger sister, Riley. My older sister, Tara, lives in Florida with her fiance, Jesse. But she visits as much as she can. I know that walking in anywhere, I will get stares, but walking into an adult environment is a little concerning because people stare, they're gonna comment, and then it's just gonna make me uncomfortable. <laughs> we can't have children at the bar. Well, obviously I saw her. When she came into the bar, the first thing I thought was, it's illegal for children to sit at the bar. Can I get some ID? Can I get some ID? She does look young, so that's the reason why I did ask for her ID. <laughs> Thank you. Me. Thank you. Ready, Riley? You're last. Yep. Thank you. So, you get married. <laughs> so, which one of us is going to be your bridesmaid? <laughs> I am 24 years old and I'm engaged and Shauna's 22, so I'm only two years older than her. It seems like we have a greater age difference than the two years, mentally, physically, emotionally, all the things. I definitely believe that there is a little bit of resentment um, I think from more Shauna, than a little bit, yeah, yeah, from Shauna towards Tara. I think Shauna almost looks at it as like, Tara's leading the life that she could have led had she been just a little bit taller. Yeah. It is difficult seeing that my other friends and my family are being more independent, but I don't envy or have any jealousy towards Tara and what her choices for her life have been, whether that's college and moving out. But I think it's entirely unfair on my parents and that they treat Tara and I a little differently, even though we're two years apart. 
Um, they always say that they want me to start my independence on my own with my own actions, but I can't do that if I have a leash on me. Where are I you going? I guess you're not ready. She's gonna put on her makeup or something. I'm getting all dressed up because we're going out to dinner. I usually don't do full face makeup. Um, if I do do makeup, it's usually just eyeshadow and mascara. Um, I don't like wearing a lot of makeup anymore. I think whether I'm dressed up or not, I get attention. I think when I'm dressed up and I have makeup on, my mom gets negative attention. I don't think it's any different for me. I think it's different for my family. Shauna likes to dress up like any other 22 year old, but we go out together and she gets looks like, oh wow, what is she doing? What is that kid doing? And then I get the looks of, how could you? How could you let your child dress like this? And then my mom has to explain that I'm old enough to make my own decisions and they don't believe her and they call her a liar. So that's not fun. I feel horrible for my mom because I don't deal with all the backlash because they don't think it's appropriate to come up to a child and say these things. They think it's appropriate for them to come up to the mother, which isn't appropriate at all in my opinion. And I know it affects her. I think she covers it up very well. But I think like it's one of those thoughts in the back, like at the late of the night that comes into her head. If someone had commented on me that day, she would overthink it to the day, like till she fell asleep. I think about him all the time. Um, I don't know why I'm getting upset. I know why. You know why. It's just, um, I feel so, I guess almost guilty that she has to, she will have to go through this for the rest of her life. It doesn't seem like there's going to be a time that it's just going to be okay or it's going to be normal for her. All right, can we go? We ready? All right, let's go. All right. We're out of here. <laughs> You're pretty tall there, Shauna. I'm probably like 4'2". You're going to be able to walk across these pebbles? I am in these shoes, and I don't know if I can. Oh, in. Oh, Shauna, on your toes on those things.